first lesson today is from Acts chapter 10 verses 34 through 43. Then Peter began to speak to them, I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know that the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John announced. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and, the power, and with power. How he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree, but God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All of the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him and everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you can also please read the psalm responsively with me, doing the bold print. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. 
Let Israel say, His steadfast love endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. There are glad songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live. Count the, deeds of the, Lord. the Lord has punished me severely, but he did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The second lesson is from Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 through 4. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are of that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth, for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you will also be revealed with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We invite you to stand for the gospel acclamation. gospel for this Easter Sunday comes from Matthew chapter 28 verses 1 through 10. Glory to you, O Lord. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has been raised from the dead. And indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly, with fear and great joy, and ran to tell the disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said to them, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated, and we'd like to invite the younger children.